brand new video. You join me back in the uptown area. We've just had some breakfast at the hotel, hopped in the van and driven over to uptown because two reasons. Frodo wanted to go on the soft play. He absolutely loves Kizuna here and we went the other day. He loved it, but we couldn't spend that long there. So we wanted to come back over here and, and do it again. And he loves it. He like he has the best time. If he could stay there for 10 hours, he would. There's a little thing on the form that says you could be there for three hours, which really feels like a really long time. I personally couldn't deal with being in soft bed for three hours, <laughs> but an hour and a half is perfect. But that's where the boys are right now. I'm currently boyless. George and Coda are at soft play. Well, I am going to do some errand running around uptown. So I really like this mall. SM Moor has probably got more options, but it's so spread out and everything I need is actually here so it's going to be a bit more convenient just popping around and to different shops. Basically today's shopping trip is to prepare for my dad and stepmom who are flying tonight UK time and landing tomorrow for us Philippines time in the evening so super excited now like I can't believe the trip's here already. Sorry that's probably all backlit is that better? You can probably see me better now but yeah like I said in another video I'm doing them like a Philippines starter pack so I want to get them a ton of stuff that kind of represents the Philippines or like just some fun snacks that they can take around with them. Um, things that they may not try if I don't buy them for them, you see what I mean. So I asked my Instagram and in the comments of the box, so I've got a big list on my phone of things. Um, I'm not gonna go crazy because I don't know how much luggage like, space they have, but I wanna get them like a taster, a few different things. Um, I've already picked up some dried mangoes, so that's good, the Cebu ones. That's what the plan is. And also getting some like groceries and some like little milk cartons for Coda and stuff because we leave for the islands in a couple of days and there's some items that aren't going to be available um, when we get there so I need to make sure we've got the stuff if we need it instead it's not going to be like a, like one island we're going to is literally like a resort on an island um, and there's not going to be like convenience stores there or anything so I need to be a bit more prepared um, but yeah that's the plan for today and then later we're meeting up with some old friends who we haven't seen for ages so we're really excited for that. So I just picked up this bag from Japan Home Center that I'm gonna to use to like put everything in. And now I'm in Nature Republic and I've just got these little face masks. I know it's not like a particularly Philippines thing. Actually, it's a Korean thing, but I thought aloe vera is so good for sunburn and we're gonna be doing lots of island hopping. So I feel like they might get sunburn. So like maybe one night they could like relax and have a face mask um, just to cool off from the sunburn. So I'm now in National Book Store and I found a little card, like a piece of card. It's called an illustration board and I need to buy some pens and I want to do like a welcome board for the airport. I was going to get a really big one but I thought I want Coda to be able to hold it as well. So I'm just going to get a smaller one. This is the kind of like size you'd get from a hotel I suppose for pickup. So I'm not sure how much it is. I think they're quite cheap. So I'm going to get this and then I need some pens to do some do some drawing on it. Okay, we are now in Watson's and it's time to buy some off. I think I'm gonna get them the most powerful one because they're super like, I mean, I, I feel like George and I, I don't know if we've got some sort of resistance, but I feel like we don't get bitten as much anymore. But when we first came here, I feel like it was a lot worse. I don't know if there's any science behind that, but I'm gonna get them the full strength one because I think it's a good plan. bag is full it's very heavy I think I've done a very good job there I'm very happy with what I got I'll show you when we're back at the hotel later um, Sir George has now requested a copy from Arabica so I'm heading over the road to uh, the mall to get that for him and I'll get one as well and then I think their 90 minute play session is almost up so I'll then get back to uptown get back in the van head back to the hotel and Coda are gonna have it today. Play. 
Sorry guys, just got back to the room. And I wanna do a very quick haul of what I've got for this little starter kit slash snack bag is what I wanna call it. Cause it's basically, it's basically all snacks. So these are for codes. I'm gonna hide them because he'll want to eat this entire bag if he sees them, but it's nap time. As you know, I got my board that I need to decorate. I found this for 10 pesos and I thought it'd just be so cool for them to see like exactly where we're going. Um, there's also some information on the back about the different areas. So like the dialect, the main attractions, um, how many cities are in the area, the, the density of the population, the date they're established, how big it is in kilometers. I find this really interesting. So if they don't want it, I'll have it. Uh, I just thought it was really cool. And I might even like draw on it exactly our route so they can see um, like geographically where we're going. Cause they're just gonna hop in an airplane and just turn up somewhere. But if I can literally show them it, I think this is quite cool. I, I'd like that if I was seeing a brand new country and exploring it the way we're gonna in so many different ways. Then I got some Chicharon, car car Chicharon. We've been to car car. I don't know if it's made there or not. Um, maybe it is, yeah, yeah which looks good. And I feel like they're like pork scratchings in the UK and it's a similar kind of thing. So I think that should be good. And then I got them some chippy barbecue flavored ones. I like these a lot. So hopefully they'll share some ding dong mixed nuts. Um, some um, boy bowang cornet garlic flavor. Then I got two bottles of Pakari Sweat, both because, I mean, I think it's a Philippines thing. I've never seen it, any, have I seen it anywhere else? Oh, it's made in Japan. Maybe it's like an Asian thing, because I think we had these in Thailand from memory, actually. But I think the day we've got in BGC with them, the plan is to walk everywhere and show them the whole of BGC in a day. So we're gonna do a lot of walking, so I'm gonna recommend they take these with them. To stay hydrated, it's good like electrolytes, I think, in this. Yeah, so I think they'll definitely need these. And then, cool off in the evening, I've got them each a beer. Um, I mean, I don't know who, they might just wanna try both, but I thought they have to try an extra red strong red horse. I thought I had to. Extra strong? Yeah. Oh, wow. So this is, uh, if you don't know, and if you're not from the Philippines, this is um, a really strong beer. And then I also thought a Samig light as well, because, to wash, no, down wash it down. Exactly. Red the red was only 6.9%. 6.9 doesn't seem that strong. Is that right? 7%. Yeah, but like a double IPA is stronger. Yeah. Random stuff. I've got some wipes for Coda, some milk and stuff, but we're taking them away with us. Oh, Coda, I got you a new toy. Would you like it? I'll take the sticker off the back. What do you say to mummy? You're welcome. Daddy, show you. I think it might be one you can pull and go. Like a. Um, right over here, mate. Give it to daddy, he'll Let's show you how to use it. it. Let's do it on the table. I got these purely because of the name of them. I think they're gonna find that quite funny. Nips. These are the pens that I'm gonna use to decorate the board. And then these Cocoa Crisps, organic baked coconut chips, calamansi flavor. That's like ticking off two big Philippines flavors in one, coconut and calamansi. I got them the Hopia Ube Special. Cause I thought, I don't know, I remember having these in the early days in the Philippines and it being quite a distinct flavor. Um, and like the text is quite cool as well. These are from Nova Bake Shop in Quezon City. They should be good. What else do we have? The off lotion I mentioned before, um, and then just some other random like toiletry bits for Coda and for us. Oh yeah, and then the face masks, just here. So I think, I think that's everything. And I think that's a pretty good mix. Oh, and the mango, I've got the mango behind me. I'm really happy with that. Let me show you it laid out quickly. So this is it all laid out. I think that's really good. I'm fully aware that I haven't ticked every single box of snacks here, but I think I've done a pretty good job. And I think anything that we didn't manage to pick up, I didn't find any pulver on, for example. Hopefully we can get that whilst we're on our travel somewhere. And there's like other drinks I want them to try and like other stuff. But I think this is a really good start. So let me know in the comments what you think, how well I did. Rate me out of 10. No, rate me out of 100. Then we could be more specific. Rate me out of 100. A few hours later, I haven't really been properly on the vlog today. So hello guys. I feel like we live here. Now, I just feel like we, what are you wearing on your head, mister? There was a flower in your hair yesterday. Oh, it's come off, it's come half off. He likes to wear my hair bands. Nice, are you having a little pancake date though? Hairband. Hairband. Lucy just sat up on the rooftop of the hotel, did yes. some editing and got a little bit sunburned. Does it look like it is on camera? Uh, oh, you look a little bit red. Does it look it on camera though, yeah? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Normally it doesn't come out until I have like a shower in the yeah. evening, so I'm worried that it's already showing. But I just, Damn. you can do it again. I just fancied being in the sun for a bit. You know when you like crave just being in sunlight, even if it kind of hurts your head a bit. I'm trying to look at a screen and I'm squinting my eyes, but I was like, in England it's grey. I'm just gonna make the most of this beautiful yeah. sunshine. I'm just gonna sit there while Coda's asleep. Mummy's purple water. <laughs> eat it. Eat it, you drink water, don't you? You eat food. He looks so funny with that hair. <laughs> 
I'll, I'll open it in a minute, darling, okay? Oh uh, yeah, I just fancied it and then I came down and I was like, oh, I feel a bit lightheaded and I think I was in the sun for a bit too long, so. <laughs> nice. That's good. Oh well, I was gonna get sunburned soon rather than later. We have noticed the temperature creeping up. So it's 4 p.m. right now and even through these curtains my, in the hotel, I can tell it's hot out there. My weather app on my phone said it's three degrees hotter than it normally is right now. Ooh. As in like it's higher than average. Okay. They're gonna be in for a shock They are. They leave. They leave tonight. We just got a message from Lucy's dad and, well, Jason and Claire both put a message in saying, today, today, it's today. So yeah, they leave the UK like in a matter of hours from the point of filming this clip. Crazy. It's tomorrow for us that we pick them up, but they're just, we know how that feels now for everyone else. I can't imagine them being here. I know, I can't imagine it either. Super exciting. Tomorrow Crazy. evening we pick them up. Are you excited to see grandpa? Yeah. And grandma? Yeah. Where are they going? In the Philippines, yeah. And we're going to pick them up from the... Airport. Airport. He knows what's going on, doesn't he? Yeah. Yeah. They're going on an aeroplane, yeah. Grandpa and Grandma. They're going to fly over there in the sky, and then we're going to meet them when the aeroplane comes down. Eat. Eat? You want to no, eat? Meet. Meet them, not eat them. We're not going to eat them. Eat tomato. Eat, eat tomato. tomato. <laughs> you can eat tomatoes if you want. Ah, oh, I don't like mama Okay, I'll be back shortly. We are meeting some friends for dinner this evening. Haven't seen them for a long, long time. We didn't manage to catch them for some reason on our last trip. So we're going for dinner. I think we're having a Japanese food tonight. Very exciting. Bring the camera along, show you guys. But right now I need to go and grab some coffee, get my last coffee today. I'm gonna go back to Toby's estate, I think, and get the short flat white. Because yesterday I messed it up. We're gonna be late, I know, I need to stop vlogging, need to go and get coffee. Yesterday I ordered a flat white, but it, it was in the big cup and it wasn't the same. George, no I, one cares. I didn't have the heart to ask them to redo it again. And, oh, no one cares that people your care. coffee is the wrong size. People care about my coffee. I, have, no. I get messages on Instagram about coffee. No one That's cares how much that people... you've got a different size coffee. That's comment below so if you, Comment below if you care about the size of my coffee. I thought you were going to hit me then. I was like <laughs> flinching and blinking. I thought something was covered over my head. Uh. Right, see you soon, friends. Don't call your fiance and your son friends. <laughs> That's an ick. Just jumping into this section of the vlog very quickly to talk about who I'm partnering with for this year's International Women's Day, which is a brand called Mum Cozy. They have a wide range of products that I really have enjoyed. They offer products such as wearable breast pump, baby monitors, and also white noise machines, such as this one right here. So in the spirit of International Women's Day, I just wanna share some opinions with you guys and talk about, I mean, I feel like gender equality has come a very long way, but it's still evident that there's a lot of stereotypes out there for both working mums, stay at home mums. I mean, stay at homes are definitely still working in being a mum, that's for sure a full-time job, but there's still these stereotypes out there that I just wanna talk about and break down a little bit. So Mum Cozy is a companion to millions of women worldwide. They recognize women as an individual beyond the role of a mother, but obviously encompassing a mother's role too. So for example, they see mothers not just as the caregiver for the child, also someone with their own dreams and ambitions, both through motherhood and their own personal experiences. I can relate to this hugely. I run my own business, I travel a lot, and I have huge ambitions in my life. For me, parenthood hasn't taken away from those things at all. If anything, it's enhanced them. Traveling's even more fun now we've got a little one with us. When I'm doing my hard work and my intense grind and my long days, all I'm doing is thinking about providing for my son. Parenthood has made these things more exciting and added a huge amount of happiness to my life. One of my own personal stories of stereotypes and motherhood and parenting is when I got pregnant, everyone was saying, oh, you're not gonna be able to travel now. You're gonna have to slow down. You're gonna have to find somewhere to, to stay sort of full time and you're not gonna be able to go on these crazy travel trips. But since Coda was born, he has been on 26 flights already. We've kind of proved those stereotypes wrong. We've shown that you can do both. Traveling with kids isn't the easiest thing in the world, but like I said, it makes it more enjoyable and you get more from that experience because they're there with you. The person you love the most in the world is there experiencing this amazing place or meeting these amazing people or eating this delicious food with you and you get to bring them along and it's just the best. YouTube and my career online is something we've built up over years and it's a huge part of my life but I'm just so proud that I'm able to do that alongside being a mum. And I just love to encourage other people to do it, to, to bite the bullet and just think, 
yes, I can travel with the kids, it can be done. And to give other women the confidence to take their children away with them. I receive comments and messages most days saying that I've inspired someone to go on a trip, which is just amazing to me. Something else I want to talk about is a white noise machine that we travel with. If he can hear us moving around in the room, it makes it a lot harder, but the white noise basically drowns out any outside noise. So I definitely recommend checking this out. But yeah, that's all I wanted to say today. I basically want to inspire you and help break some stereotypes and show that you can do it all. You don't have to just be in one box. If you wanted to be in one box, that's okay too. But I'm saying like, if you've got this ambition or this idea, don't think that being a parent holds you back because actually it can just enhance it and make it even better so thank you so much to mum cozy for sponsoring this part of the video we're gonna jump back now to paradise but happy international women's day to all the women watching me today and i'd love to hear any stories you've got in the comments about traveling with kids if you can relate to me as well and um, yeah let's have a little chat in the comments below another quick shout out to seda hotel having a really really nice stay here staff are also nice lobby's really good we get free parking here we can park the van downstairs breakfast has been awesome the room's great so uh, yeah, no complaints here so far. Yo! <laughs> Seeing people everywhere we go who watch the channel just shouted something at me out of the window of his car. Hello to you. And I was not wrong about the heat today. Super hot. I think we've been here a little while now. When we first landed, we were kind of like, oh, this isn't, this isn't too bad. Not, not getting that like intense heat, but now we're getting it. 100% getting it now. That reminds me. I need some new swimming, swimming, uh, swimwear. <laughs> I need some new swimwear. Maybe I'll go in there to get it. I put, I've lost a little bit of body fat lately and my old swimming shorts, which I've had for many, many years, no longer really fit me and they nearly fell down the other day, which is not a good look. They're kind of, I mean, they fit, but I can tie them, but they're kind of all loose around the waist. So anyway, there you go. At some point I need to pick up a new pair. I do quite like walking out on my own. It's quite nice. Lucy said the same, sometimes it's just nice to have your own kind of 10 minutes to yourself with the world of like traveling as a family and parenting and looking after Coda and vlogging together and everything. It's just sometimes nice, especially like this time of day, there's actually a lot less people out. I think a lot of people hide from the sun because it is, I mean, in the direct, direct heat, it is just sweltering hot at the moment. But yeah, I think Coda's also at that age. We're at this kind of crossover period where he's just a little explorer, just running around everywhere, constantly, not wanting to, uh, we're not, you probably notice we're not taking the buggy out, the stroller with us at all. We have it with us, but um, we're, just, we're just not using it because he won't sit in it for more than a minute maybe. If we even manage to get him in, which is a struggle, then he'll sit in it for a minute and then really want to get out. So it's kind of like, we choose our battle. There's no point kind of going through the struggle of that so we might as well just let him walk and run around, but it does mean that everything kind of takes probably another, I don't know, half as long. Because like right now I can just run right down to Toby's at the end of the high street, grab coffee on my own and run back, probably within about 15 minutes, but that would probably be over an hour journey if Lucy and Coda were with me. So yeah, sometimes nice just to come out putting the camera down and then picking it up and again hit record because I keep thinking of stuff I want to say but kind of say like how at home I'm feeling in BGC and how it just kind of feels like we live here again like uh, after a matter of days don't know what like scientifically is there a amount of time that you have to spend somewhere for it to feel like a home because I think the longest we were here was just under two years I think I need to look at the videos and like work it out but like maybe around two years is that that must be enough time is a year enough time if you spent somewhere for a year can it feel like a home six months i don't know if anyone's had like similar experience to us and uh there's a part of the world for you that is like a home or a second home comment below i love reading people's stories like that and kind of relating it to myself but yeah it's just i don't know i'm just super relaxed here it, it definitely i could be back in like 2019 2020 easily right now Have a good day. Have a good day. Thank sure. you. Half past four. Wow, we're early. Okay. It's 29 minutes past and we're meeting our friends at half past. We're one minute early. Although by the time we probably get to the restaurant, we'll be about two minutes late. We haven't been up to this area yet. This is like 
if you go a little bit further, you're at Market Market, and this is like the very end, top end of BGC High Street. Nice little area, there's always so much going on here. There's a Toby's Estate coffee shop in that bookshop. Oh, Luce, the other day we were talking about um, Dell Union like it was a brand new concept, but there's always been a Toby's, a mini Toby's, you can't sit in there, but there has, oh, it's an, no, it's, oh, it's an art shop, ignore me, totally different. Anyway, here we are. I'm not sure if they're here yet, but we're having some Japanese food. I said in one of the vlogs that no one does Japanese food like in the Philippines, <laughs> except for Japan, but well, no, know, the, no other the country. The ramen's better here in my opinion. Oh, we do, oh, Louis, yeah, I know, I know. Oda has been enjoying these red blocks over here. Oh yeah. And he pretends that he's Spider-Man and he swings. He wants to show you. Should we show Mummy your Spider-Man? On say the red our ones. Breath. Yeah. Our breath. No, never. Fit as a fiddle. Yeah. Right, let's show Mummy the Spider-Man. How do we do it? <laughs> oh my god! Yeah. Cow hug. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> New way of carrying you. That's interesting. Yeah, it's good on the back. I'm doing like a constant deadlift, like bent over. Okay, I told you guys this was a problem. If you can recognise my surroundings right now, you will know exactly where we are. And if you saw a previous vlog, we're back at the frozen yogurt spot. We can't help it, can we, Luce? We were like, oh, should we, we said, should we go home, go back to the hotel, or go for a little walk? And we we're like, okay, we'll go for a walk. And then we're like, kind of fancy something cold, something a little bit sweet, something Coda a little bit it. delicious. It's not our fault, Coda wanted it. Oh, it's just so good. Is it cold? <laughs> That's nice. Hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, <laughs> hi guys. Saying hi guys. Hi guys. Good morning. What are you saying to the camera? Uh, hi guys. Hi guys. Going along. Saying going. Going what? Going along. Going on a run. Yeah. I do run. Which one? Beach. You're gonna go for a run. At the oh, beach. we're going to Quran. You saying we're going to Quran? Is that what you said? What did you say? Going go on, going along. No, you run. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, don't know. we are going to end off today's vlog here. Hope you guys enjoyed watching. Thanks so much for watching. Thanks for all the support lately, the comments, the messages. It has truly felt more than ever like a real community, this YouTube channel. And I know like YouTubers kind of throw that word around a little bit, but genuinely, like when we read the comments after we upload a vlog, and people are talking about the tiniest details in the vlog and personal things about us and Coda and it really feels like a, a close kind of family thing even though it's like hundreds of thousands of people watch this channel over a month or whatever. But yes, we are gonna sign off this one for today. I'm gonna hit the gym. And guys, tomorrow is the day. Lucy's dad and stepmom Jason and Claire arrive in the Philippines. Two more. They have just messaged to say they've got on a train from our town in the UK heading up to the airport like right now. They are on their way. It's tomorrow for us, but for them, the journey has begun. So please join us for this series of vlogs. It's going to be so much fun showing them the Philippines 
for the very first time. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching. Please give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, just down there a little button. If you're not subscribed to the channel, that would really help us out too. It lets YouTube know that we're doing a good job, shows the videos out to more people. But we will see you tomorrow when we are picking up Driver George on the case again. Picking up Jason and Claire from the airport for the start of the next adventure. So we will hopefully see you then. Thanks guys, see you soon. Bye bye. bye, -bye.